So over the past several years, GE Healthcare MR has introduced significant innovations to enhance workflow speed, decrease scan times, and boost productivity, all while prioritizing patient comfort. So also, despite having shorter scan times, there's been a significant improvement observed in image quality. Just like any consumer device that leverages AI technologies, you know, we have smart home devices in our, our homes, we have AI on our cell phones, we have automated music playlists, for example. GE Healthcare has also made substantial investments in AI technology too. So GE Healthcare started with AI-based SAR models followed them by automated slice prescription for consistency, and that feature is called AREX. Addressing fundamental issues in MRI imaging, like noise affecting signal-to-noise ratio, then we introduced Air Recon DL, which was launched just three years ago with common pulse sequences, such as the 2D FSE sequences. But since then, this technology has been integrated into nearly every pulse sequence within our product lineup. That brings about all the improvements to all the anatomies and all the pulse sequences available, so such as the diffusion sequences, the 3D volumes, and even the propeller sequences, which addresses patient motion. So for specific anatomical related videos on Ericon DL, you can also look in our YouTube channel and um, check out the description and the links um, below, and uh, you will be guided to that uh, YouTube channel there. Our AI solutions are capable of executing millions of computations per second. The remarkable aspect is that they're not only accessible from our high-end MR product line, but across the entire portfolio. So this means that scanners that are even 20 years old can be upgraded to include this latest technology. So transitioning to our next innovation, we wanted to leverage AI to address some of the most demanding MRI exams for both patients and technologists and that's cardiac imaging. So cardiac imaging, due to patient conditions, they have a lot of challenges in being able to hold their breath because they're sick, or maybe even they have an arrhythmia, so that makes it challenging to get a good uh, ECG trace, for example. So with this, we have something called Sonic DL. And Sonic DL is an AI-powered technology, and it's focused on just that, to reduce the scan times. So in conventional scans, you know, breath holds can take usually around 10 to 15 seconds for each scan or for each slice location. And those are repeated multiple, multiple times over 10 to 15 minutes. So let's move over to our console and we'll give you guys an idea of what Sonic DL looks like. So oh, now you are here seeing us in the, at the console. We just have finished our uh, patient and uh, we just want to show you here how you can verify if you have Sonic DL turned on in your protocol. So I've pulled up one of those Fiesta sequences and when you open up the sequence and go to the acceleration tab, because as a reminder, Sonic DL is AI based acceleration technique. You see here the feature labeled as Sonic DL and then you can choose with uh, which factor you're going to accelerate those images. And then uh, let's look at the acquired images. So we look here at a nice beating heart where we have applied Sonic DL on some of the images. But first I want to point out that image here in the lower right uh, corner that is traditional without Sonic DL. So here when we look at the scan time, it was one breath hold done in 12 seconds and that is the image quality you will get for that kind of long breath hold scan time. So these uh, images beside that are all acquired with Sonic DL where you can really make decisions on like depending on the uh, heartbeat of the patient and the arrhythmia of the patient, like which factor you're going to use. And we go from the first image to the right where we applied Ericon DL with one R2R, three R2R and six R2R. And scan time-wise, uh, we are doing the same image uh, we did here in the lower with even more uh, um, beating heart moments in 2 seconds, 
four seconds and six seconds. And then on top of that, we can even com com can combine that feature with a free breathing technique. Mm -hmm. So for the patients who are really not able to, to uh, be scanned uh, at all, you can combine it as a free breathing technique. So here we are using one other R and the scan time free breathing is uh, six seconds. So I think it's really nice to visualize that all on one screen <laughs> and yeah. see what you can do with a beating heart. So this is another example. Both of these acquired with Sonic DL. So the image on the left, we've acquired the entire stack of the short axis, and we've done that in 14 second breath holds. So we've got all those locations where typically those each slice location or maybe Two slice locations are a single breath hold, so the patient would have to hold their breath multiple times to get that much coverage from the apex of the heart all the way to the base of the heart. Or the image on the right, what you could do is just simply free breathe that. So the image on the left, a 14 second breath hold. The image on the right, 36 seconds free breathing. So I think you can see the advantage here of why that's uh, important. One thing that we didn't talk about, we'll save it for a future video, but it's possible also because you're getting so much information now, you can even increase the number of images you get per cardiac cycle. So we've acquired these at 30 phases, but it's totally possible to increase that to get more information. So thanks for watching us today here to scan with us with Sonic DL, the new feature. We are really excited for uh, this feature and what else will be coming with uh, Sonic in the future. Yeah, it's really great. Very exciting stuff. Look forward to seeing you guys on our next video. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye.